morning guys it's a new week it's monday february 27th literally we got two days left so february is done and march starts <laughs> okay i feel like the year literally just started i feel like it was just yesterday I got the call that you got approved for your apartment. I feel like it was just yesterday that I was in Belize surprising Rob. I feel like it was just yesterday. I, I feel like it was just January, period. Like, now we about to head into March. Like, what the hell? <laughs> These months need to slow the hell down because... <laughs> but, y'all, um, it's Monday. Today is not wash day but i have to wash my hair my hair is literally dirty and when my hair is dirty i start to break out and i'm gonna try to do my face mask as well today but i'm not gonna show you guys that because you guys see that all the time i use bunsen eye clay mask and apple cider vinegar but i don't think it's really been helping since yeah i don't think it's been helping lately anyways y'all how do you guys like this wallpaper? What do you think? <laughs> I got it from Unbox, and clearly, I don't know how to put up wallpaper. So, if it looks funny, it's because it is. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Comment down below if you like it. Um, I kind of like it. I don't know. I feel like right now it's a 5 out of 10. We're going to see. Um, so, it's like... 8 30 in the morning mondays are literally my slow day for me because i'm trying to regroup get myself back together because you guys if you don't know i work two jobs and on sundays my two jobs collide together so i will get off sunday morning i get off at 7 a.m and then I would go home, get about three and a half hours of sleep, um, and get ready to be in my other job for three. So, like, I don't get really no rest on Sundays, so I will be in bed all day Monday morning. But um, today is not really that day. Like, my hair is really itchy. I want to get my hair washed and do some things in here that's really not really much to do. <laughs> to be sick, 
grow back i did the big chop like two years ago is it three years ago um just for me to have gastric sleeve surgery and for it to drop all out <laughs> like, this is crazy but uh i'm about to blow dry it but before i do that y'all my friend is texting me about flights to barbados we're supposed to be doing crop over not we're supposed to we're doing crop over um which is barbados carnival if you don't know it's in august crop over is for like two months i think it starts july and it goes into august but like the big condument or whatever it's called the big parade where you dress up in your costume and ting is in august so <sighs> Flights just keep going up and up and up. And y'all, I'm here like, that's my rent, basically. Like, I really don't know what to do. Um, I know I'm gonna go because our men will literally kill me or never speak to me again if I don't go. And I know you're like, well, don't let her talk to you then. But it's not even that like i promised myself not only her that i would do one carnival this year and it's actually it's like i didn't even wash my hair properly what the hell and it's actually my fault why tickets are going up because at first tickets were reasonable tickets was let's say seven almost eight hundred dollars now tickets is close to eleven hundred dollars and I really played myself I baited because we were gonna buy like the going flight and then return flight you know whatever um, so the going flight literally was 200 and something dollars to let's say 263 and we baited we baited. I don't know why she baited. I don't know if she was waiting on me or what but if she was I would hope not I feel bad but um I baited because I was waiting to get paid to buy the ticket i could have used my credit card but at the time um this was the beginning of february and at the time i told myself i did not want to use my credit cards this month so that's the reason why i didn't use my credit card to book the flight and i was waiting on payday by the time payday came around the ticket went up to four change so i'm like nah it was just 263 it's gonna go back down that's just one way you know with jet blue it's like you know now the ticket is 600 and something dollars for one way exactly so i played myself <laughs> i don't know i don't know so there's only two flights leaving out that day. She booked the flight. She paid the six something. I still have it on my Google tracking to let Google let me know if the price goes down. I'm still waiting, which I feel like I should not wait. I should just buy it. And that's just flight alone. That's not even costume. That's not even my share of the Airbnb. That's not my share of the car rental. Like. Y'all, I just, I can't even talk. My head is starting to hurt just talking about it, like, <laughs> the back of my head. But, um, it's not work.
History Month is pretty much over which Black History Month is like should be all year round but like February is when everybody wants to know Black History Month whatever but y'all yeah, I feel like I always talk about unbox but unbox when I went for 50 cent day they had these books well book and so my first book from unbox was I'm the girl this book took me about a couple weeks to read. It's a pretty good read, but anyway, that has nothing to do with Black History. <laughs> the second time I went to Unbox, they had this book, Black Girls Must Die Exhausted by Jane Allen. When I say I finished this book in a day and a half, baby, started it Friday evening, Saturday night. I was done. Benito. This book, and apparently it's a series, so I'm glad Unbox had this. And this is part one. There's a part two, I think it's called Black Girls. Something mm, magic. I'm gonna I'm put it. But this book, this book is a good read, especially for us black women. I don't know how to say it without giving the book away because I want y'all to read the book. But if you're not going to read the book, it's basically about a lady named Tabitha. She's going through basically something um, health-wise. And basically, like, you know, her clock is ticking if she wants to have kids or not. So, in a way, I already related to her and I was, like, intrigued on what she was gonna do next and you know they told her to freeze her eggs and it was just like freeze your eggs ivf all of that is expensive um and insurance doesn't cover that you have to pay out of pocket it, it just i was just like oh my god um even though i don't want kids <laughs> but when she was diagnosed and the emotion she was feeling I definitely felt that she has these two friends who are going to two different completely situations but they all come together it's just amazing it's a good read and I highly recommend um, I cannot wait to get part two to the book um, at first I want to see if unbox has it you know if not I did see it at Target on Saturday I went to Target Saturday and um, I was looking for command strips that I'm going to return because I literally just made a little hole in my wall with these command strips and I'm not too happy about that. So maybe I was doing it wrong. I don't know. But anyways, I saw this book, We Over Me. So I'm currently reading this now by Kadeen and Naval. And if you know me, I support them 100%, especially zach you know zach from sisters ah, i love him and fatima but um you know obviously that's not a real his real wife his real wife 
is Kadeen. And you know, they from Brooklyn, they from Canarsie. So, ah, you, know, I, you know, I gotta support them. They from Brooklyn, you gotta support. Um, so I picked this up. So I'm on, I just finished chapter one last night. And I'm excited to read it, even though I'm not in a relationship or nothing, but I just wanna be all up in their business. <laughs> type thing and it's very odd and strange that I'm reading so basically this is my third book in like a month and a half and let me tell you I don't read baby I don't read but these books had me on my toes I was like what's the next one but I'm excited to read this comment down below if you're reading this how do you like it? By the time this video goes up, I should be done. So you have to comment down below your thoughts of the book. Y'all, so I just got an email that the flight went down. So I'm about to go book it right now before I really play myself. I'm gonna screenshot it and put it in the group chat right now. <laughs> All right, y'all, I'm about to book my flight. And it's snowing. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. The weather outside is frightful. Y'all, it's sticky for real. It's sticky. <laughs> the snow is sticky. Not playing. No game. Okay. Yeah. Boy. <laughs> Morning, people. Morning. <laughs> so much for a weekly vlog. It is March 2nd, Thursday. The last time I picked up this camera was Monday. Mm. I mean, I didn't do nothing interesting anyway, so. Yeah. But it's Thursday morning, it's pretty gloomy outside, like it's going to rain. Um, I have on Chrissy and it bought wrong over there. I feel like I want to eat some egg, but I also feel like eat oatmeal, so. I don't know. But, so, what's been going on this week before we start, really? Do what me want to do. Nothing really I go on in them. Nothing I go on. Let me put it put this to the table here. Um, yeah, so nothing's really been happening this week. Um, I went to Target to return some command strips that I bought. I think I told y'all. I returned it and I got $23 back from them. Them little strips cost money, you know. Got $23 back. I'm on the last chapter of We Over Me. And this book is really good. Um, their point of views, each of them. It's really interesting to read um, how they communicate and where they were in the beginning of their marriage. After, you know, still continuing their and, marriage, obviously. And this month, I'm really sticking to not using my credit cards. So... We're on day two, I'm not using my credit cards. Last month I said the same thing and I ended up using one of my credit cards. So this month we're not using nothing. If we don't have it, we don't have it. <laughs> so yeah. Oh, I did book, I think I told you I was able to get through to booking my flight, but crop over. So I use my credit, that's the reason why I used my credit card last month. Well, I had used it for Unbox, and then the end of the month, I also used it to book my flight for crop over. So, your girl is going to BIM. I'm going to Barbados. So, if you're going to crop over, I'll see you guys there. <laughs> Man, I get too excited. Um, so, yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to see how I'm going to look because honestly, so July 29th is my one year mark. August is right there. So I'm going to be one year posted up when I'm, by the time I'm leaving to go to Barbados. 
So I don't know how I'ma look. My first time wearing a costume skinnote. And um, I'm excited. I just hope it look good on me because if it don't look good, me want my money back. That's all me I say. Me I want my money back. <laughs> and yeah. But I feel like it's gonna be good. Um so yeah. Ticket checked, Airbnb checked. It's just the costume. That's it. It's just the costume. They have pre-registration -reg out, but I'm a visual person. I'm not gonna put no money down and I don't know what the costume looks like. You know. So I need to see it. If I like it, make sure this is the band I want to play with. So, mm. but we're going to see. One step at a time, okay? Because I need to pay about that to get there. Friday, we back at the gym. I'm in. <laughs> Girl, what is that? Uh, um, 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 weed. Weed? <laughs> um, I was about like, to say I cannabis. The gym and you just, you know, <laughs> Wanna smoke some weed? You know, Grand you know, open it. <laughs> for the first time and I do not recommend especially not for anybody who's doing bariatric surgery after after having surgery you yeah, know what I'm talking about for our people I don't recommend and when I picked it up yesterday I did not realize it was 200 calories and it's just super thick and it doesn't mm -mm, it's not it all I was reading was 15 grams protein one gram sugar. I don't know. I did not see this 200 calories. Um, stick to the white kids yogurt and let's call it a day. This I do not recommend y'all. Don't buy. Don't waste your little 199 on this. <laughs> it's a no bueno. Mm -mm, no good. I don't like it. Hey y'all. So it's Saturday. Weekly vlog is over <laughs> but um i really didn't do nothing this week um uh what am i trying to say <laughs> i really didn't do nothing this week and i'm on my way to work i'm a working girl i'm about my money okay i need to figure out how to make more money so yeah if you watch this far please make sure that you're subscribed to my channel y'all because I'm really trying to get to like a thousand subscribers because I already have the watch time hours. So hopefully, like once I just need to reach a thousand subscribers, y'all. Help your girl out, please. I am begging. <laughs> I need more income this year. Remember, it was on the vision board. More income, more money. Period. But I'm on my way to Ashley Furniture Store um to look at some couches i won't be purchasing anything today just looking browsing around so i'll see you guys when i get there because this camera is about to drop again all right bye
in a chocolate color. This one? Yeah. It's so way I don't even know what it's Chase. Like, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, I wouldn't mind that. I wouldn't mind. Oh, this one? She follows me, guys. She needs to lay down. <laughs> And we have a waterfall system, meaning like if you're not approved for one, we don't do most food credit hits. We just do one credit hit and then we can get your food to do most food banks. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't have kids, so, but still, I feel like a spill or something. We have a protection for five-year worry-free if you're concerned about it. We offer unlimited cleaning. Okay, so we have that. And we offer unlimited cleaning. So if you, or you know how you get gene dye on the sofa? Mm -hmm. We'll clean that thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, like, for, oh, you have gas and it's sitting on the sofa for a long period of time? We'll offer cleaning services. Oh, somebody comes to the house and clean it? Yeah. Oh, okay. go up or no? Like higher? Yeah. No? It would be nice. Yeah, if it was higher. Because it kind of looks incomplete. Yeah.
Yeah, but I, I think I want like maybe like a gray a like gray. that. That's gonna look really nice together with the white. Or um, I don't see a lot of like black, but something or darker gray like that. But I don't know. I'm not feeling this brown. This brown is giving like old school type of vibes yeah. to me. <laughs> so yeah. It does give a little old. She was an older woman. Yeah. Like <laughs> so, <laughs> it feels nice. I like the material, but I just, I'm not with the color so much. Seven, eight, three. Okay. Yeah. And this is also a sleeper? Yeah, this one actually comes in a sleeper. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this, they don't have like storage, no? We have one of the storage. Oh, that's a nice color. Yeah, this is really pretty. I like this. It's actually a nice color. It's gonna get really dirty. But don't want white. later on in the day um i'm at work and so i know you guys the video is kind of like all over the place when i went to look at furniture but i felt like she was following me and i just i just felt uncomfortable kind of recording and then i don't know like i have to get used to like really vlogging vlogging in public like yeah she was just i know like that's their job to follow you around and ask if you need help but like miss give me some space every time like she was pregnant which is fine right but i was trying to like you know walk fast and i see her like you know waddling behind me like miss sit down sit your, sit down <laughs> like if i need help i'll ask you um but she said that they're having a sale um coming Friday, either Thursday, Friday, Saturday, or Friday, Saturday, Sunday. They're having a 20% a off sale coming up. So I told her I'll be back, but honestly, I don't know. Like, I'm still looking, and, um, yeah. So, you know, if Ashley Furniture, if y'all want to sponsor your girl, give your girl a free couch, email me. <laughs> because actually their prices are not that bad honestly but i don't know it's just like the color i really don't know what i'm looking for I, like i keep saying when i see it i know it's the one and i just have not gotten to that point yet but anyways y'all um stay tuned for another vlog where i'll be looking for a sofa sectional again um yeah mm -hmm. so yeah that's pretty much it y'all i didn't even realize that yesterday was um march 3rd so, so it's been one year since i found out that i had that i had endometrial cancer i can't say have anymore because my la my last biopsy showed that you know i was didn't show any signs of cancer i'm pretty much cancer free i'm in remission so that's good but it's just unbelievable from last year to now how far i've come like with my health wise it's pretty unbelievable like i don't know i'm not gonna say i thought i was gonna die but um yeah when you hear cancer it, it kind of sticks in your head you know what i'm saying but um yeah so that's pretty much it for this week's vlog I know it's pretty boring, but um, I really didn't do anything. And you see, when you're on a tight budget, you don't got the money to splurge like that. 
Mm. I mean, technically, I did splurge. I did. I bought my Beijing ticket. I bought my Barbados ticket for crop over, and that, that was a lot of money. <laughs> so technically, I did splurge. Okay, I swipe that credit card. And maybe you. Credit card is on lock for the rest of the month. <laughs> okay, so. But yeah, so tomorrow I'll be meeting with our men to go to the gym. And tomorrow Sunday, and then that's it for the week. I hope you guys had an amazing week. You know, it is the beginning of March. So, you know, set your goals for this month. Continue to uplift yourself and whatever you need. And, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.